Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Can everybody hear? I'm Sandra Herndon, the outgoing president of the League of Women Voters. And I want to acknowledge Rosalind Reed, who's the incoming president of Rosalind. We're delighted to be here. Olympic College has been very gracious in uh, offering us this facility on many occasions, um, and we appreciate being here. Tonight, we co-sponsor our event with um, the Chamber of Commerce, and Terry Jeffries will have a word to say here in a few minutes, as well as with uh, KMAS, who's back here dutifully recording this, and um, uh, people are listening to us even as we talk. So welcome to everybody, and uh, be aware that you're uh, uh, speaking to the public. Um, just a word first about the League of Women Voters and this event. Uh, the League of Women Voters is a nonpartisan political organization. That means we advocate on behalf of issues, but we do not support or oppose candidates. Um, and so we do not take a position on candidates as an organization. Individual League members may do that, as they see fit, but the, the organization does not. We emphasize voter registration and education and open and fair government. Um, I'd like to turn this over at this point to Terry Jeffries, who's the Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce, and we're delighted they're co sponsor with us. Thank you, Thank you Sandra. Thank you everybody for coming tonight. It's very gratifying to have you here. This is Watershed Year. And I want to introduce our moderator and thank her very much, Kim McNamara, McNamara, who you, most of you, McNamara, who was previously the director of the Shelton, um, Col uh, Olympic College Shelton, and now is the director of student services for the Olympic College, um, all their campuses. So thank you very much for your time, Kim. I just have to say that seeing you all here, even though you're suffering, um, it makes my heart warm. Um, it, we've never had so many students here at Olympic College packed in this room, so thank you so much for being here with us. If you're new, then you need to know that this process um, has very specific guidelines, and it's my opportunity to cut people off if they uh, don't uh, obey the guidelines. So that's always fun. Um, and with Dick Taylor as my ferocious timekeeper, um, yeah, we, we got it down. So what happens here is that we're going to do race by race. So um, each candidate for a particular position will have two minutes to introduce themselves as an opening statement, and then we'll ask each candidate um, in that particular race the same questions. We usually have two to three questions. Um, and based on the input that we have, probably 18. But no, we won't do that. Um, we're just, we'll keep it down to around three questions each. Um, and then each candidate will have um, one minute to respond to those questions. And then at the very end, for each, for each position again, we'll have each candidate give us their closing statement for two minutes. And those are strictly time. OK. Um, I guess I just want to say one more um, announcement. Justin Stang is double or perhaps even triple booked. He's going to be flying in here in a few minutes. So when you see him, he's going to be taking that seat right there. All right? Oh, um, and the reason why he's not on the list is because he's a write-in candidate. Okay, and we give everybody an opportunity to be here. Okay, and if you do have questions, remember to keep them rolling this way. All right, so without further... ...stay senator, and happy to see so many people here tonight. It's really exciting. Uh, I have to tell you, I was born here in Mason County. I've been in politics a long time, and uh, served in the House and the Senate, and had, had other various positions. My uh, uh, fellow politicians yet to come for the county seats have a very difficult uh, time ahead of them in this recession. And I've been a county commissioner for six and a half years. I won't be running again after my term is over and I'll turn it over to them. 
and uh, it's been very tough at the county level. It's tough at the state level as well. This recession has brought out a lot of anger. I think it's brought out a lot of concerns that people have about uh, themselves and their family. I do a survey every year, and this year I found that 40% of the people in the 35th district responded that they uh, had reduced income, they've had people in their family laid off or themselves, or they're supporting somebody else in their family that's having a lot of difficulty. And I think as a legislator, I want to go back to Olympia and work very hard for people to improve their economic situation. That's been my uh, forte. I have a, a master's in business administration, a degree in economics. I've worked very hard through the years to pass bills that help our uh, citizens in their economy. Now, I'm not a political, steadfast person. I have passed bills over the 20 years I've been in Olympia, at least one bill, no matter if the Republicans are in control of the legislature or the Democrats. And it can become a very political place in Olympia. Work very hard for new infrastructure projects, for this building right here, for example, new roads and highways, pretty quick bridge, bridges, and things that focus and get jobs for our community. So I'd like to continue to do that. I support your, I continue to, to uh, thank you and for your support over the years, and I will return to Olympia, hopefully, and, and try to improve our situation overall. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, we'll move to Nancy Williams. Hello, I'm Nancy Williams. I'm a conservative candidate. I am the mother of three, a grandmother of 15, great-grandmother of one. I'm retired from the Postal Service as a postmaster after 24 years service. In my spare time now, I drive school bus for North Mason School District. I'm a foster parent, and I'm a court-appointed special advocate for uh, juveniles. I've been uh, co-owners in a cab company, a co-owner in mini storage, and then I've been a, a landlord also. I've come into this race because the Tea Parties have enlightened me to the predicament that we have gotten into by our elected officials and us wanting things that we cannot afford. Evergreen Freedom Foundation has enlightened me. They've empowered me to say, I can do something about the present circumstances. Our arrogant elected officials have catapulted me out of retirement. And uh, thank you, sir. And uh, Brown's got to run for Senate. I appreciate your vote. And I'm Nancy Williams, and I'm running for the Senate seat in the 35th District. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now Justin Stanley. Good evening. Thank you to uh, the League, the Chamber, and Olympic College for having us here this evening. My name is Justin Stang, and I am your write-in candidate for the Office of State Senator 35th Legislative District. Now, what that means is I will not appear on any of your ballots at home. However, if you choose that, if you so choose that I am the candidate that best represents you, and you write my name in, I will appear on the ballot in November in the event that I place in the top two. Um, I, uh, I live here in, uh, in the area, I live in Union, and I work for Olympic Mountain Ice Cream. I play music in a band called Sideways Rain, and I'm also the co-founder of an organization called the Sideways Rain Foundation. What we do is take income that the band has generated and we put it back into the community. We've adopted Highway 106, we started a local scholarship at Shelton High School, and most recently we sponsored a youth soccer team out at MCRA Park. I have a bachelor's degree in history from Providence College, and, uh, and if it's taught me anything, it's that if we continue to elect the same officials year in and year out and somehow expect different results, then we're going to be doomed for four more years of repetition, making those same mistakes. Um, while I have great respect for both of the candidates running for this office, I found that when I saw that there wasn't a candidate that represented me or my values, and uh, like so many other folks in town, I decided that perhaps I would put my hand in into the ring and, and try to do the best that I could to represent this constituency. I see that there's been a lot of frustration and a lot of uh, disappointment by the voters in that a lot of elected officials haven't really been paying attention. Um, there's a number of issues where voters have been marginalized, they've been called names, they haven't felt respected or involved in the process that is our democratic government. I hope to change all that. My name is